and Magnusites. Back again with another Magnus Answers. I have descended from my throne of thought to answer your question. This one comes from a young individual named Morph. And it's entitled, Friends Say I Act White. I'm gonna get Jeeves to read this. <clears throat> Jeeves! Come in, sir. Get over here. Here. Magnusites, at attention. Listen intently as I read this email. Hello, Tyrone. How are you doing? I recently subscribed to you, and I hope you reach your one million subscribers. Well, to cut to the chase, I am 20 years old, I am an African-American male. So for most of my life, my friends or family have told me that I act white because I speak proper, because I am not loud like your typical black male. I'm very mellow and outgoing, and I have diverse friends, and I accept people for who they are. Well, I don't understand why they feel that, that way about me. Maybe because I don't say the N-word, like two sentences, like every two sentences, and I have sort of a big vocabulary. For example, the other day I met one of my friends, and she was cute, brown-skinned, thick. I'm a bachelor, and when I said that I, my friends, what? Wait a minute. When I said that I, my friends, looked good, she got really surprised that I like thick women and brown skin. I think the Magnusites are still following. Um, so she told me that I look like the type that would be into white women that are thin. But truthfully, I date them all, regardless of your ethnic background. Well, could you give me some insight on why they think act? They think I act a certain way? Thanks a bunch. Shout out from San Diego, California. <laughs> All right, man. All I got to say is fuck them. But let me give you a little bit of insight into this because, man, I dealt with this dumb shit. <sighs> they tell you that you act white because you have a big vocabulary. You speak proper. You don't say nigga every other sentence. I know what you're talking about, man. I had an instance when I, I never forget this. I remember it was a pack of dudes that I always wanted to hang with. They're around my age. They're always doing something, going somewhere. And um, I remember I came up to them and I was like, what's up, guys? And they were like, what's up, guys? <laughs> Tyrone, you sound like a fucking white dude. And I said, well, <laughs> and they laughed at that. I said, what am I supposed to say? What's up, G? You know what I mean? They, they're laughing at that. I. I don't know why, but I tell you this, just specific reasons why our culture has adopted ignorance as being cool and shunned being intelligent. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, it's, man, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, brother to brother. And any white people that are interested in black culture a little bit more and understanding us more, there are two DVDs out there. One called Hidden Colors, one called Hidden Colors 2. And they speak about black culture and what it really is and what it really came from. They dive into history. It's really interesting. By the time I was done those two DVDs, I felt like a moron on my own people. Like I just did not know there was so much more to us than, than what, I mean, blacks at one time had a black Wall Street, okay? They had, their fidelity rate was better than whites. We had close-knit families. We were suit and tie, black businesses. Hey, if anything, you're old school, 
okay? Fuck what the hell they say. Because you know what? These were the same guys and people that were telling me dumb shit like, you know, I'm corny and all this. I even get the shit online here. People write me talking about I'm corny, calling me nigga, nigga this, nigga that. And I'm like, you know what, brother? I know you ain't fucking doing nothing with your life. And you're writing me this dumb shit, okay? I've got a successful growing channel on YouTube. What the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? And I got other projects in the work. You know what I mean? Forget what the hell they say, okay? It's a stereotype that developed from a lot of different things. It, I can't just, I could simply say, oh, well, you know, because of stereotypes on TV. Well, that's just one thing, you know what I mean? You got guys named Tom, you know, that, you know, work in the corporate office and they only date skinny white girls, like a lot of white guys like. You know what I mean? That's that fucking stereotype. Don't worry about it, man. You know, because I know what's really funny is I grew up with a couple of guys that were straight thugs, but they only dated white girls, and they liked the Beckys, okay? They didn't like uh, what uh, white people call the wiggers, okay? No, they liked the Beckys, and it's like, exactly. See, you like thick, brown skin, black women, and there's nothing fucking wrong with that, and they're thinking, oh, I thought, just because you talk straight up, all of a sudden, you don't like black women. That's, the, that's the fucking stupid. I've met so many intelligent, successful black men that love their own women. Just because you talk right and got a good job, you know what I mean, and wear a suit, you know, and all this dumb shit, that means you like white people? What the fuck? It's, it's, and you know what? One word. It's ignorance. That's exactly what it is. And I'm going to tell you, brother, just do not worry about what these people are saying to you. All right? Hey, if you have to from time to time, shut them down. Like, I've had um, black girls say to me, you know, you look like you date white girls. That's right. I do fucking date white girls. But I would date you, and I would date fucking Maria Conchita over there too. I like different types of women, okay? Just because I didn't come in with my pants half off my ass, wearing a pair of Tims and a fucking fitted, it don't mean that I don't like black women, okay? So, and those, and usually them the motherfuckers getting you in trouble anyway. You're chasing after them, and then once you're out of your stupid stage women, then you, you, you wanna come after me. I gotta tell you this. <laughs> There's a few women that came after me after this stupid stage. And there's no fucking way I'd want them, okay? That's like saying, yeah, look, I just don't like ratchetness. You know what I'm saying? Like, these were ratchet girls when I was growing up. And there's no way they would have a chance in hell with me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, dive into this subject too much. Because this subject is deep. It's broad, it's extensive, and it can be exhausting for black people to discuss because there's a lot to it. Make sure y'all get Hidden Colors and Hidden Colors 2. Make sure and watch them. Watch them a couple times. Your mind will be blown at African history. Uh, find out that we're not even really should be called Africans. It's crazy. Um, very, very interesting on who we are, and you'll be proud of your past and who your people are. Instead of thinking, oh, you know, uh, we're all just this bullshit you see on TV, you know, with the, you know, the swag and all this other bullshit. Nah, man, you know what I mean? Black people have a really rich, deep, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm telling you, um, scientific history, um, it, I mean, don't even worry about it. You're doing just fine, all right? Oh, Mr. Savage, 